What's up guys? Hey little boy Vash here and today I have a pretty neat thing to show you. We have a Force One DYS FPV 220 ready to fly racing kit. Um, this kit comes complete with your 220 racing quad. You have a 89 radio link controller. You have a I think it's an IMAX B6 charger and it also includes a set of Force One FPV goggles. So let's go ahead and get this kit open and I'll show you what's all inside. First up, in a soft shell case, we have the Force One logo. And inside, we have the actual quad itself. You can see it's got a nice molded little holder here. Has a good little frame on it. The body has a 30 degree mount on top for your camera and there are different frames with different angles available. Looks like you have Force One Race Edition 2205-2300 kV motors. DYS BL Hell ES 20 amp ESCs. And down here we have our VTX. And I like that it actually has, instead of a solid hookup, it's it's the, the wire here, the coax cable. That helps keep from breaking that. The VTX is 5.8 gigahertz with 40 channels and can output at 25 milliwatts and 200 milliwatts. Also you have your 5 dBi right hand circular polarized omnidirectional antenna. You have different sets here. Tri-blades I believe these are five by yeah, fifty forty tri blades. You have some extra little accessories here, and prop nuts. This looks like to be your Allen driver to disassemble it. Got a plate here and your instruction book. So set that to the side. Here is the IMAX B6 charger. Here are some included cables with it, alligator clips, most of the time when you buy this uh, on your own you have to get your own power supply but they actually included an adapter in this kit for you. Now it looks like this will be able to charge anywhere from two to six cells. And I'm sure you can probably charge, yep, yeah, one cell, 3.7 volts. Let's see what else is in the kit. Here is the Force One FPV goggles. Instruction manual. Here appears to be your battery. 7.4 volt, 1600 milliamp battery. And here are your FPV goggles. I 
haven't really looked into these goggles yet. They're not diversity, they just have one antenna. So I'm not sure if it actually has a DVR built in. I don't believe it does. Nope. It's just your standard goggles, no DVR. It's your 5.8 antenna, which I will probably upgrade that to a omnidirectional antenna. And lastly, in the kit, we have a Force One Edition. This should be a Radio Link AT9 controller. And here we have the Radiolink R9DS receiver. And I see we can hook up S bus on this. Here's the controller. We can set up all this in clean flight or beta flight, whichever you choose. And now let's take a look under the canopy of the quad itself. Okay, to remove the canopy, you have four Allen screws here. You have one, two, three, four. We'll go ahead and take those out. Okay. Let me see that our camera is mounted up in the top. Looks like a nice clean board here. Good solder points. This looks like this here appears to be for our S-Bus hookup. And now let's take the quad out and give it a maiden flight. Something is not right. Ah, oh, it went through right there. Wow! This one didn't hit me in the face. I'm pointing forward. Yeah, this right here. Oh. Cause uh, what's this? It's got an eyeball on a camera itself, yeah. ain't it? Hold on, I'm trying to think. Rudders. I'm going in the house before it cuts me up. Cause you're working in two dangerous stuff.